since today you will start seeing way more new players in Red Dead Online lobbies. And probably that's why Rockstar decided to add such a great monthly event in Red Dead Online in May, because they knew that there will be a lot of new players. Anyway, today Red Dead Redemption 2 was added to PlayStation Plus game catalog, so a lot of players will be able to try this masterpiece for free. Okay, not actually for free, because such players have to pay for PlayStation Plus extra and premium subscriptions, but still it will bring a lot of new players to this game, it happened before when Red Dead Online standalone was added to Xbox Game Pass, and I remember that then lobbies were full of new players, and actually at that time it was only Red Dead Online standalone, and now it's a full game, so it will attract even more players, and a lot of such players will decide to try Red Dead Online as well. And yes, for these particular players, Rockstar made such good bonuses and discounts this month, they want them to keep playing even after Red Dead Redemption 2 will be removed from PlayStation Plus catalog, and to do so, such players will have to buy Red Dead Redemption 2 or Red Dead Online standalone. Obviously, buying the full game is a much better choice, but anyway, this leads us to an important question, should Rockstar make Red Dead Online standalone free? And in my opinion, the answer is obvious, yes, they should do it, and I actually think they will do it in some form. I see only benefits for both Rockstar and players if Red Dead Online will become free to play. Actually, there is one negative side of such decision, but we're gonna talk about this later, because now I want to give few important advices for all these beginners who are joining Red Dead Online lobbies on PlayStation right now. First of all, remember, it's not GTA Online, players on average are much more friendly here, so don't attack other players for no reason, especially high levels. Because high levels have ability cards, tonics and good weapons, you don't stand a chance against them, even if you are better at aiming and shooting they still will kill you. From my personal experience, other players will rarely attack you first, but obviously, if you will go to them with your weapon equipped, and especially if you're gonna be aiming at them, or if you will approach someone with lasso in your hands, which is never a good sign to see a low level with lasso, in this case, other players might shoot you first, almost as a self-defense, but if you will just be waving to strangers, most of the time you will be fine. Second important tip, try to avoid some money and gold glitches, because Red Dead Online is the most fun when you leveling up, when you have something to grind for, because at some point you will have much more money and gold than you need, because Red Dead Online definitely lacks a high level content, and if you will do any sort of such glitches, you will just reach this point much faster. And the third tip is don't forget to have fun, it's just a game after all, don't take it too seriously. Actually, I think that most high level and not only high level players will agree with these three main advices that I just gave. So hopefully at least some new players will listen to them and it will make Red Dead Online's experience better for everyone. And speaking about decisions that will be beneficial for everyone, making Red Dead Online standalone free to play is one of them. First of all, it will be good for both new and existing players. It's obvious why it's gonna be good for new players, they will be able to try this game for free, see if they like this type of a gameplay and open world and then decide if they want to spend some money on a full version of Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, for existing players, there are multiple different bonuses. First of all, if you play on a console, you actually have to pay some money to play Red Dead Online. Like recently, my Xbox Game Pass Ultimate expired and I had to purchase at least the cheapest version of Xbox Game Pass to keep playing in Red Dead Online, because it's not a free-to-play game. With free-to-play games like Fortnite, you can play online without paying anything on consoles. On PlayStation it's exactly the same, you need to have PlayStation Plus to play Red Dead Online. Second benefit, it will be easier to start on a new platform or create a second character on PC, because again, right now it will cost you some money. Ok, next benefit, more players means more fun, because it will be easier to find players for PvP showdown matches, for call to arms maps, or for land of opportunities missions, and yes, in the lobbies you will see pretty much the same amount of players, just because of how Red Dead Online lobbies work, there are no dedicated servers, only peer-to-peer -peer connection system, so you will pretty much always find the same amount of other players in your lobby. But in any way, the most important reason why it will be really good for existing players if a lot of new players will join this game is that Rockstar might get interested in developing and fixing Red Dead Online again. There will be more reasons for them to invest resources into 
developing new content and new outlaw passes. And since we're talking about Rockstar, for them making Red Dead Online standalone free to play will also be a great move. Because right now their monetization strategy looks like this. They're trying to sell some Red Dead Online standalone for $20 or so for $10 with discount and according to the data that we have, sale numbers for Red Dead Online standalone are not that impressive and also Rockstar tries to sell gold bars for new players once or twice. Because high levels don't really need to buy gold bars. So their monetization system is heavily focused on new players and apparently it's not working that well because they abandoned Red Dead Online completely. But if they will change their monetization system and will focus on existing players, on players who play and enjoy this game, they might see a different, much better results. And you know the formula is pretty easy. Invest money into making some good content to keep players playing and then sell them cosmetic items for real life money. Maybe outlaw passes, maybe just some outfits. It's also possible to add some bonuses and cool items for Red Dead Online into GTA Plus subscription and try to sell it to Red Dead Online players. And yes, obviously not every player will pay real life money for some cosmetic items, but if Red Dead Online will become free to play, there will be just much more players overall and from that player some percentage will spend a few extra bucks to receive an outlaw pass or some cool looking outfit. And yes, I admit, there is an argument why Red Dead Online should not become free to play. It's that in that case, there will be even more cheaters on PC. Because if cheater will receive a ban, he will just create another character for free and will continue doing what he's doing. But the thing is, Rockstar don't really ban cheaters anymore because they don't care. But if they will think that it's possible for them them to make some money from Red Dead Online even on PC, maybe they will start fighting cheaters and mod menu users. I don't really expect this to happen to be honest, but still for PC players there is nothing to lose anymore when we're talking about Red Dead Online because public lobbies are already unplayable. So I still think that making Red Dead Online standalone free to play is a good solution for everyone. To be honest, I was pretty sure that the only reason why Rockstar developed Red Dead Online standalone alone in the first place is that they plan to make it free to play at some point. Or maybe to sell it to Epic so they can make it free like they did with GTA 5 few years ago. But it never happened, apparently Rockstar had a different plan for Red Dead Online standalone to make it and almost immediately abandon it. If you're looking for more details about this sad story, I suggest you to go and check the video that you can see on your screen now. It's a big documentary about the history of Red Dead Online, how it was created and how it was abandoned. Anyway, let me know what do you think about Red Dead Online becoming free to play and as always I hope you enjoyed this video, stay safe, stay healthy, goodbye.